I'm Stephen Leonard, I'm the Senior Climate Policy Analyst with C4. Over the past 12 months, uh, there's been an increasing emphasis on the role of Indigenous peoples um, in the context of climate and forests. When it comes to the idea around reducing emissions from deforestation and forest degradation and conservation of forest, which is described as red plus, um, Indigenous peoples play an important role. In the policy context, there is, of course, the participatory role. Uh, Indigenous peoples are, are mostly uh, rights uh, holders, um, and so they have a stronger um, opportunity, or this will be a stronger emphasis, on the um, viewpoint um, and entitlements of, uh, of Indigenous peoples when it comes to um, what we might want to call climate change related interventions, whether they're mitigation or adaptation. Uh, in forests. Uh, indigenous peoples also have a long um, connected history with forests in many parts of the world in terms of uh, stewardship and, um, and, and taking care of the forests then, uh, of themselves as well as um, very often a very deep cultural and spiritual connection uh, that comes um, between uh, Indigenous peoples and, and, and the lands and the forests in which they exist on. C4 has undertaken some work in this space in a number of different ways. There's been work that's been undertaken here which is focused on the role of monitoring and uh, MRV of communities. There has been other work that's been undertaken here very recently focusing on allegations of rights violations and there was a desktop scoping study that was done by some colleagues that has identified that there is the potential um, for red plus related interventions to um, violate rights um, in the circumstances where it's not undertaken um, in a, in a rights-based approach. Now that finding is based on the number of allegations that have been raised by uh, Indigenous communities throughout the world which have been subjected to um, interventions under the name of Red Plus, and so it's important that that information is is brought you know, into the in, into the public domain, so that the discussion and the importance of rights-based approaches can be focused on more. There will be an interesting session at the Global Landscapes Forum that will be held by the. Um, Indigenous Peoples Major Group on Sustainable Development, um, which will be focusing on the role of Indigenous Peoples in the context of, uh, of, of conservation. That is an important issue because historically there's been a lot of circumstances where communities have been moved off their land in order to um, enable for conservation initiatives to be undertaken, uh, which raises uh, questions around rights and, and violations of, of, of human rights and rights of Indigenous peoples. A rights-based approach to Red Plus will be uh, important going forward and, um, and, and, and it will not only give rise to more sustainability of the Red Plus efforts in and of themselves, but it will also go a long way in terms of improving livelihoods of Indigenous communities and also uh, support the sustainability of the um, overall objective to reduce emissions um, from forests.